Here we go. Question is, I have a medical marijuana card or a marijuana medical card, but can I still get an engineering job? And this is our Ask Engineers. Hello everyone, I am currently a student in civil engineering and have recently learned about zero drug tolerance laws, zero tolerance drug laws that many engineering companies enforce, especially with civil engineers because of more liabilities. As someone with a medical condition and severe depression, I use medical marijuana to help me. It has helped me significantly in living my everyday life. Good for you. However, I am absolutely, utterly terrified that I may now not be able to use medical marijuana in my job. I do not want to return to using pharmaceuticals as they have made me feel awful and the side effects are not worth it. I see a lot of stuff online about marijuana and engineering, most of it saying it really isn't allowed in most places, but not much about if you have a medical card. I absolutely understand that you cannot be under the influence while at work, but can I have a medical marijuana card and still be allowed to use away from work if the company is a zero tolerance company? Also to clarify, I live in a state where it is medically legal, but not recreationally. I understand I would have to talk to them about this. I would truly appreciate any input. Thank you. So um, you live in a state where it is medically legal, but not recreationally. You know, for example, my company, it's not allowed, uh, zero tolerance. I mean, it's a construction company. And regardless of what state you're in, it's not, my understanding is it's zero tolerance. So I, I think it really depends on the company policy and not as much about the state. Unless the state that you're in has laws about anti-discrimination um, related to medical marijuana usage, but I haven't I'm, I'm be, I'll be honest, I'm not knowledgeable enough about that, but I think it really just depends on the company that you're working for and their policies. And <clears throat> I mean, it may be one of those things where you can, you can read their website and um, read their job applications. Usually that kind of thing is on the job application. And, and all, honestly, I mean, I think that the, the biggest thing for you is just to be straight up, straight up and upfront about it and say that you've been prescribed it and uh, what it does for you and, 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 and what, in what circumstances you use it and how you don't use it. Um, you're not under the influence when you work and, 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 and ask the recruiter that question and be prepared to, whoops, be prepared to have a handful of rejects, but Hopefully, ideally, uh, you end up with the best situation with the best balance for you in your life, which is a situation where you can use the medication that benefits you and you can work in a job and a career where you don't work every day fearing a drug test, work every day fearing that you'll be fired because you're using this substance that helps you that's illegal to be used in your state. But um, I, I think it really depends on the industry and the company specifically that you're working in and what their policies are. Um, and you won't know unless you ask. So I think it really is just a case by case thing, but I wish you the best of luck with it. Not complaining, my thoughts get complicated. I cannot explain in lameness. Never losing focus because I ain't chasing payments. Still playing in the basin while I'm working on arrangements. They heard the kid in 50 countries. Thank God that's amazing. But I'd rather thank Spotify. They put me on the station.